Apparently, it's not all roses for ABC's newest bachelor, Juan Pablo. At a network party on Friday, the show's first Latino bachelor was caught expressing his discomfort with gay people and what his thoughts were on a potential bachelor season that helped same-sex couples find love. Let's take a listen. It's fantastic. Exactly. All right, my last question, and this is kind of a serious question because I was having a conversation with somebody from the network earlier. Do you think it would be a good idea at some point to have a gay or bisexual bachelor? No. Why not? Just because I respect them, but uh, honestly, I don't think it's a good example for kids to watch that on TV. Juan Pablo went on to say that he has a gay friend and has a lot of respect for him, but I'm not so sure that I believe him. Here is how the short interview finished up. But obviously, people have their husband and wife and had kids, and that's how we are right. brought up. Now there's fathers having kids and all that, and it's hard for me to understand that too, in the sense of a household having people's two parents sleep in the same bed and the kid going into bed, you know, it's confusing in a sense, but I respect them because they want to have kids. And there's this thing about gay people that uh, it seems to me, you know, and I don't know if I'm mistaken or not, well, I met great, you know, I have a lot of friends like that, but they're more pervert in a sense. And to me, the show will be too, too strong, too hard to watch on TV. Joining me to discuss this is HuffPost Gay Voices editor, Noah Michelson. Hi, Noah. Hey, you know, we are more perverted. I'm not even wearing my pants right now. I wish I wasn't wearing <laughs> pants right now. It's a cold Monday. Yeah. I'd much but prefer to be is, that. I mean, what do you even say about this? It, it's, it's so embarrassing for him. And then, I don't know if you saw the apologies. He tried to apologize for it. I'm going to say apologize for it. You know what, Noah? I actually have uh, the apology right here, and I want to read through it before you get into that. Juan yeah. Pablo issued a sort of apology and says, I quote, I want to apologize to all the people I may have offended because of my comments on having a gay or bisexual bachelor. The comment was taken out of context. The word pervert was not what I meant to say, and I am very sorry about it. Everyone knows English is my second language, and my vocabulary is not as broad as it is in Spanish. And because of this, sometimes I use the wrong words to express myself. What I meant to say was that gay people are more affectionate and intense, and for a segment of the TV audience, this would be too racy to accept. So first of all, within the apology, it says it was taken out of context, and I didn't mean to say it. So which was it? Exactly. And also, in the full apology, he says, uh, if you listen to the full interview, you can, you can see you can listen to the full interview. There's nothing that was taken out of context. It was a minute and a half interview, and the whole thing was horrendous. So, and, and then to blame it on a language barrier, I, I, he went to college in the U.S. I, I just don't buy it. So he actually is working with GLAAD now. GLAAD got to him, and he issued another apology and said, you know, I really think that Latino gay families are great. And this all happened like, you know, 16 hours after he made the statement. So I just don't really buy it. And, you know, I'm the first one to say, I think if people make a mistake, they say something that they shouldn't have said, we need to give them, um, I think we have to accept their apology, but only when I think it's heartfelt. And I don't think that him coming forward and saying, you know what, I was totally wrong. I didn't mean any of that. I love gay people. I just don't buy that. I don't buy that. I also, you know, within the first apology, his comments of, um, that gay people are more affectionate. Where are yeah. you getting that? Getting that from? That's that's statistically true. Exactly, and especially when we're talking about The Bachelor, which is a show where people are just making out and hooking up left and right, and these are straight people. So I don't know what he thinks gay people would do on the show, um, but it's really confusing to me. A man who's being paid to date twenty women at the same time and sleep with a lot of them is talking about morality and, and you know how dangerous gay people would be to children. Now, ABC also responded to um, Juan Pablo's comments, calling them, quote, careless, thoughtless, and insensitive. So that's, you know, that has to be a good thing that this, you know, the corporation is, and the network is behind, you know, is not standing behind him and is behind sort of the LBGT community here. Yeah, I thought that was a great statement for them to make. We're also living in a time, you know, post-Duck Dynasty where, it's starting to become harder and harder to say things like Phil Robertson of Duck Dynasty or Juan Pablo are saying and not get an instant outrage from 
uh, a lot of people. So I think ABC was swift in their, you know, condemning what he's saying. And I think it was totally appropriate. Um, I love that, of course, the Internet is not going to let Juan Pablo Agalavis go uncorrected with this story. I have some tweets here. This is my favorite one from um, Ryan James Yazak, who says, Hey, Juan Pablo Agalavis, I'd rather be a gay bachelor than a straight bachelor who judges people based on preconceived notions. And it was favorited 17 times. That's my favorite tweet that I've seen so far. And, you know, no, we've had this conversation before that when— Something homophobic comes out and you see a huge presence of people backing up, you know, you know, fighting against the homophobia. Isn't that just a good sign? It's, it's a, an amazing sign. I mean, I think it's telling that someone like Juan Pablo has no sort of filter or doesn't have the sense to think, maybe I shouldn't say this to a journalist. Um, in 2014, that people still think it's okay to say these kind of things or still, th- you know, do think these things. But I think you're absolutely right. The fact that we're seeing the backlash happen instantly and with such fury is is hugely inspiring. And it really tells me that we're moving in the right direction. I have another tweet here from one of our lovely hosts here, Ahmed, who says, Breaking, Juan Pablo and Putin have hashtag gay friends. We'll keep uh-huh. you updated on if they have black friend or Muslim friends. Too. You know, you have to wonder, do, do, do people like ABC vet these people ahead of time, you know, wondering where they stand on hot button issues and maybe not send him out to a line of reporters that could potentially <laughs> ask this kind of question? Because we've, you know, with this season of The Bachelor, he's the first Latino bachelor and we've been asking, yeah. should there be a black bachelor? Should there be a black right. bachelorette? You know, gay or lesbian? Of course, these yeah. questions are going to come up. Exactly. You just think, do they have no media training at all? If you're going to be one of the, you know, most watched people on TV for four months, you would think that ABC would put them in a boardroom and say, here's the things that you're not going to want to say to a journalist, because especially with the Internet, I feel like this journalist who was talking to him, it was kind of, if you listen to the interview, it was almost like they were just having a conversation. They were at a pool party. Um, but the minute you say anything, everyone's going to find out and it's on tape. So you just got to be smarter about it. But I love what Ahmed said, too, about having gay friends. I mean, that's the line we hear so many times. I can't be homophobic. My sister's gay. I can't be homophobic. You know, my piano teacher is gay. It's not true. Even gay people can be homophobic. You can have internalized homophobia. So I think instead of dancing around this and saying, you know, all the garbage just sort of came out of his mouth after he was caught, he just needs to own up and say, I actually have some really, you know, weird notions about gay people, maybe. I don't know that many, and I would love to learn more. That's what I would love to hear him say. I am with you there, Noah. And I think it's, you know, fair to say that for anyone else who's going to make a mistake out there, don't blame it on a language barrier. Don't tell everyone that you have a gay friend or you know a gay person. And don't say it came out of context, because context, nobody's buying it. 